guys, what's up? It's Denise Salcedo with Red Carpet Report, and tonight we are in Hollywood at the Dolby Theater for the CW's Jane the Virgin and Crazy Ex-Girlfriend Paley Fest event. Hi, how are you? How nice, are to you? nice to see you. Nice to see you. So I gotta know, what was it like for you to be a part of Jane the Virgin as the narrator and be able to tell the story and add so much color and flair? The first three years were a little bit of torture because I was doing it from New Jersey where I used to live. And then I said, you know what, these next two years, and at the end of season three, I decided to move to Los Angeles. And it was torture because I didn't get to see them as often. Now I get to sit there at every table. Where I still work from home, but I get to see them, so it's a little bit more freeing. But it's been a learning experience, going from doing mostly movie trailers and promos to all of a sudden narrating a full story with its arc and everything. It's just been a lot of fun. You know, I feel like narrating is not something that, you know, not a lot of narrators get to come out and say, this is how it works, this is what's challenging, this is what's not. Yeah. So tell us, what's the biggest challenge of being a narrator, and what were some of your favorite parts of the actual job? The biggest challenge of being a narrator for this particular show, because we started establishing the workflow when I was in New Jersey, was not recording to picture. Because um, you don't get to see what's going on. I never saw the show until it aired, so I was doing different takes for different intention. And Jenny Ehrman, our incredible creator, was on the phone with me, guiding me, because she knows what was going on on screen. So I used to ask her, okay, what's on the screen now? Because as a narrator, we don't work in a vacuum. You know, because otherwise it just falls kind of for false. So that was the biggest challenge, was not seeing it. But now it's kind of, they know what I do, I can understand the script, and now that I know the guys and the girls that are, you know, that are on, on the cast, I know, and the characters, I kind of know what's going on, I get a better feel for it. But the challenge was initially not knowing what was, up, what was on the screen. You know, and I absolutely loved it, because when you're narrating, and you, there was little moments where you had like the punchline, and, and oh, it's a joke, and yeah, and you would throw in your own like, you know, feedback and comment, and it really added to the characters and to the quirkiness that the show has. It's, it's a testament to the writers because none of that was improv. There was only two things that I ever improv in the entire five years. And one was I added, OMG, went to the line, that's him, that's him. And then Jenny ran with them. Now the narrator is known for saying that. And a little disclaimer about fireflies at the end of the fireflies. That was it. But everything else is on book, is in the script. These narrators, these writers are just amazing. No, and that's a great testament because the way it's so, because the way you sound, it sounds like so loose, like almost like yeah. if the viewer is the one throwing in these little chops. Yeah, I think of it as, let's say you have this orchestra going, right? And then I come in and I sometimes provide harmony and then sometimes I provide a counter melody to it to kind of bounce it if it gets too serious, to kind of lighten it up uh, or, or kind of ground it a little bit if it gets too wacky and stuff like that. So that's kind of, I mean, we're problem solvers. That's what narrators are. We solve narrative issues and that is the kind of the role of the narrator here. That's wonderful. I love it. I love your job on the show. I think I think that having your part of it really, really added a whole other layer to the show and the format and to the characters and all of that. So thank you so much. Thank yeah. You so much. Yeah, nice thank you. Have you. a great night. Thank you. All right, guys, as always, thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel for more. And in the comments below, let me know what you think about these two shows coming to an end.